Hey there, this is Bruce Wagner, host of The Bitcoin Show on OnlyOneTV.com, here to talk about how to get started using Bitcoin in just moments for the non-technical user. So here we go. First, open a new tab on your browser and go to this website, mtgox.com. We call it Mount Gox. It's M like Mary, T like Thomas, G like George, O like Oscar, X like X-Ray, mountgox.com. This is what it looks like. And you just click this big green sign up now button. It's a free account and very simple. On the sign up page, just scroll down. All you have to do is come up with a unique username and type that in. Then give yourself a very long and strong secure password. We call it long and strong and secure when you have letters, numbers, and symbols. Make sure the letters don't spell anything, the numbers don't mean anything like an address or birth date or anything, and make sure that this is a password you don't use on any other website. I know it's a little inconvenient, but it's very important because we're not just protecting email or something, we're protecting actual money. So use a unique strong password. Then the email address, which has to be a real valid email address because you're going to receive a confirmation code. Then select the currency that you, your default currency in the place where you live, mine is US dollars. Click submit and you'll get a page like this. Thank you for your registration. And then all you do is uh, type in your username again and then paste in the confirmation code you just received in the email and click the confirm button. And that's it. Now you have a Mt. Gox account. So once again, go to mtgox.com. Up in the address bar up in the top, make sure that before the HTTPS colon slash slash, make sure it always says in green, KK to Bane JP. That way you know you're on the certified correct site. Then just type in your username and password and click login. Now you're in your account. So the first thing I want you to do is go to funding options on the left, the second tab down. And then, then the first tab on the left, add funds, and then choose Bitcoin. Scroll down and you'll see this long string of letters and numbers. That is your Bitcoin address. This is an address that's used for you to receive Bitcoin. It's sort of like an email address, but the only thing anyone can send you is money in the form of Bitcoin. So we, we want to remember this address. So what you do is simply double click it, right click, copy, and then send yourself an email with this address in it for your records. Okay, so check to make sure that you received an email from yourself containing this long number so that you have a record of it and you have it saved in a safe place. Next, scroll up to the top and click in this top right area up here on your actual username. If you click on your actual username, then you'll get taken to this page called uh, settings. And then the first tab is preferences, account settings. We'll just change a couple things here. Under when receiving funds, change that to send me an email each time. When my trade order is executed, change that to send an email for every single trade. Session expiration, 15 minutes default is probably fine. You can change the time zone to the correct time zone for where you live. Then on Let's see, main currency is probably already set to the one you selected earlier. And when receiving funds in a currency other than my main currency, convert to my main currency is probably fine. Then click save to save those settings. Okay, now you can just click the home button up here to be taken to the home page of Mt. Gox. Now, the next thing I want you to do is open up a new tab on your browser and type in this site. It's block, B-L-O-C-K, chain, C-H-A-I-N dot info slash address a d d r e s s slash and then paste in your new bitcoin address which should still be on your clipboard if not check that email okay and then press enter now again i'm going to read this page to you the address is blockchain dot info slash address slash and then the bitcoin address that you have on your clipboard from earlier now what I want you to do is bookmark this page. This is a very important page because this is going to show you in real time all new transactions that are coming in from the Bitcoin network to your Bitcoin address. So make sure you bookmark this page. It's also a handy reference for your Bitcoin address whenever you need to give it out to someone. As you can see right now it says transactions newest first and there are none because it's a brand new address you haven't used yet. 
but once you actually receive a payment you'll it'll look like this when you check it it'll show you a green arrow which means funds are coming in and it'll tell you here in green the amount of Bitcoin in this case it's 10.197 etc Bitcoin which is approximately 32.63 US dollars so it tells you the approximate US dollar value then if you notice there's a big red box that says unconfirmed transaction that means the transaction just came in and it hasn't been confirmed in the Bitcoin network yet which means it's there and the person's probably good for it but it's not actually confirmed when you hit refresh and the red box goes away like this then you'll know it's absolutely confirmed in the Bitcoin network but just make sure you bookmark this page. We'll come back to it again in a few moments. Okay, next, if you want to be able to receive donations, say you represent a charity or a cause, or maybe you're a content creator, you're a blogger, or you tweet on Twitter, or create videos online, any kind of content, or any kind of purpose or cause or group or organization or club, you can actually receive donations via Bitcoin right now. Here's what you do, just open up a uh, word processor or notepad and just type in Bitcoin donation address like so colon space and then paste in your Bitcoin address the one that we have on the clipboard from before that you emailed yourself and then all you have to do it's so simple is highlight this text copy it and paste this into your website any web page any website your Twitter account your YouTube channel absolutely your blog anywhere any organization's website you want Bitcoin donation address people will know what that means if they're into Bitcoin and they'll know that they can copy that address and send Bitcoin donations to you right away and why not nothing wrong with that okay the next thing you need to know is what if you want someone to send you a specific Bitcoin payment just send them an email and say whatever you want uh, please send Bitcoin to my Bitcoin address and paste it in you can literally send someone an email like this please send this many bitcoins to this address and that person will know what to do with it and they will send bitcoins to that address which is your Bitcoin address so the next question you need to know is how do I find out when Tony has sent me these bitcoins there's two pages you need to check first Mt. Gox. Again, go to mtgox.com and log in and then click here, Account History. When you click Account History, you can select USD, which is US dollars, or Bitcoin, BTC. So I'm going to select Bitcoin. And what will happen is every Bitcoin transaction, both incoming and outgoing, will be itemized line by line right here. Now, if it's a transaction within Mt. Gox, it'll show up immediately right here on this transaction history page. That is, if Tony was using Mt. Gox and he sent this transaction from Mt. Gox address to a Mt. Gox address, it'll show up here immediately. If not, then I go to my bookmarked page that we had bookmarked earlier, my blockchain.info slash address slash my Bitcoin address, and I'll see the transaction show up here. And this is what it looks like when it's not confirmed yet. After about 5 to 15 minutes, I refresh the page and it'll show up as confirmed but the transaction if the person sent it will always show up either here on the blockchain.info slash address slash my Bitcoin address page or the Mt. Gox transaction account history page if the person sent it it will always show up on one or the other and again the account history page will show the transactions immediately that are from Mt. Gox accounts to Mt. Gox accounts and the blockchain.info page will show any other Bitcoin transactions coming in from the entire Bitcoin network. Also keep in mind that all Bitcoin transactions on your address will show up in the Mt. Gox account history transaction log after about an hour. It takes about an hour for the Bitcoin network transactions to show up here in the account history but they'll all show up here after about an hour and they will be reflected up here in your total account balance in Bitcoin and account balance in dollars or whatever your currency of choice is okay the next thing you might want to do with Bitcoin is send some Bitcoin to someone maybe you're made a purchase online and you're told to send a certain number of bitcoins to an address or you want to 
send payment to a friend or a coworker, or you want to uh, make a donation. So let me show you how to do that. I'm going to open up a page called epicchange.org. This is a charity that does great work. And if I click on the Donate tab, always make sure that you actually get the Bitcoin address from the website, the official website itself. Don't take someone else's word for the Bitcoin address you should donate to because they could be giving you their own. Uh, and again, Bitcoin is like cash. It's irreversible. So I clicked on the Donate tab and I scroll down and I see you here, Donate Using Bitcoin. And they have their Bitcoin address posted right there. So I know it's on the official page. So this is the correct address. So I'll right click Copy double click and then right click copy the Bitcoin address onto my clipboard. Now here's how I send a payment to Epic Change. I go to my Mt. Gox account, click funding options, and then on the tab on the right, withdraw funds. I'm going to withdraw funds in the form of Bitcoin, which is the default. And I enter the amount, whatever amount I want. It can be even decimal places. Then on the Bitcoin address line, I simply paste in that address Make sure that it's correct. Double check that it ended in FIPJ4, right? Make sure it ends in FIPJ4 so you've got the right address because it's irreversible once you send it. Then I just click on confirm and immediately it will send this amount of bitcoins to this address. Okay, so let's say I'm in communication with the person that I'm sending these bitcoin to and they say, hey, I never received those bitcoin. Here's how you verify that it was actually sent. Open up a new tab in your browser and go to that blockchain.info slash address slash and then this time the Bitcoin address you sent it to. In this case, Epic Changes Bitcoin address. So again, that's blockchain.info slash address slash. Then I put in, I pasted right in Epic Changes Bitcoin address. Now, these are transactions going to Epic Change's Bitcoin address, which you can see here. And you can see that I did, in fact, send 10 Bitcoin, which is about $32. So I can actually send this URL, the address for this web page, to my friend at Epic Change and say, look, I did send it. It tells right here the date and time I sent it and the amount. Um, and it shows that I did send this many bitcoins to his address so he can double check his records to see why he didn't receive it or maybe he did. But actually the fact that it shows up here is proof positive that it was sent to him. And that's something you might need to prove to someone, especially if you're shopping online, you're buying something and you need to prove that you paid. It's kind of like a canceled check to prove that you actually did pay. Okay, now the final thing I want to cover in this quick tutorial is what's really cool about Mt. Gox is that you can use every feature that you can do on the website, you can also do on a smartphone. If you happen to have an Android smartphone, go to Mt. Gox and then click on this tab right here that says mobile. And you'll be taken to this page where you'll see, if you scroll down, you'll see all the different features and benefits of this mobile app. If you click on the download tab on the left, it'll take you to an actual page for the app. Now this QR code it's called is a barcode. On your Android phone if you have installed a barcode scanner reader you can actually scan this barcode and it'll take you straight to the place in the Android market where you can install the app. Alternatively you can click the link right below it, Mt. Gox Mobile, and you click that, it'll take you to this Android market page where you can click install and it'll actually install it even though you install it from the web, it'll actually install it on your phone automatically. It's very, very slick. Now, this is what these are some screenshots of what the actual app looks like. So when you first install it and you first run it, this is the first screen you're going to get. It's asking for an activation key, which I'm going to show you in just a moment how to get that activation key to put in there. All right, and these are some of the other screenshots. When you first launch it, it'll ask you, every time you launch it actually, it'll ask you for a secret PIN number, it's password protected. And then these are what some of the screens look like. You can buy Bitcoin, you can send, receive, redeem private keys, you can do all sorts of things with it. So it's very slick application. Everything you can do online, you can do in this application. All right, so go ahead and install that app on your Android phone and then Come back here and go to mountgox.com and click home. So you go to the home page if you're not already there. And now what I want you to do is uh, it's a little bit uh, hidden uh, up here again. We're on your username in the top right area. Click on your username. That's going to take you to your username settings. And this time you go down to the second tab where it says access. Okay. And under access, 
on the right, you click the second tab called Application Access. All right, now this is where you're gonna give that application, that app that's running on your Android phone, permission to do certain things. Now, for example, you might want to have, you can have as many smartphones tied to this account as you want. If you own a restaurant, you might give every server uh, an application on their smartphone with access to your Mt. Gox account where they can receive Bitcoins, but they can't sell them or uh, withdraw them or do anything else. They can't even check the balance. All they can do is receive Bitcoins. So you can be really creative with this. But let's assume that you, uh, you, all you want to do is install this for yourself. You can select all the rights that you want to include. Get info is basically going to give you uh, the balance in your account, the balances and so forth. Trade is going to allow you to buy and or sell Bitcoin whenever you want from the app. Deposit means you'll be able to receive Bitcoins and or dollars. Withdraw is the opposite, obviously. And being a merchant, I, I believe that means that you can actually create voucher codes so that you can transmit dollars immediately from Mt. Gox to Mt. Gox account, someone else with a Mt. Gox account, dollars or Bitcoin either way. All right, now, if you, if you, do, if you don't include the withdraw uh, right, then you don't have to enter a YubiKey, but if you do enter the withdraw option, then you have to actually have a YubiKey and uh, hold that down, all right? Hold down the YubiKey and it will uh, give you this permission. So you create the key and it will actually give you this, uh, a QR code, which on the Android phone, when you start the app, uh, it acts, asks for an activation. So you can touch the magnifying glass. There's a magnifying glass with a plus sign in it on the app, and it'll turn on the camera to scan the code. And you can actually scan the screen, scan this code right off of your screen. Uh, alternatively, you can actually copy this and paste it in, but I don't think you'd want to do that. Better to just scan this code and you'll immediately have access to everything you can do online now on your Android phone. And that's it. You now have all the tools you need to start using Bitcoin right away. You know how to receive Bitcoins. You know how to give somebody your Bitcoin address so that they can send Bitcoin to you. You know how to verify that the Bitcoins have arrived and you actually have received them. You know how to get someone else's Bitcoin address and send Bitcoin to them. You know how to check and verify that those were actually sent. You know how to put it on your website or your blog, your Bitcoin donation address so that you can receive donations. And you also know how to just email someone your Bitcoin address so they can send you a payment. And you know how to link up your Mt. Gox account to your Android smartphone optionally if you have one for all sorts of really cool mobile features. Obviously, if you don't have an Android smartphone, you can still use Mt. Gox through the web browser on any laptop or any device, even iPhones or any other device that has a web browser. You can go to mtgox.com and through the browser, you can do everything that we've done here. Now, as you progress, you will be able to go to bitcoinme.com and for more information about how to buy Bitcoins, if you want to buy Bitcoins, for example, you want to invest in them or you want to buy something and you need more Bitcoins to, uh, for whatever reason, you can click the Buy tab on BitcoinMe.com for information about that. If you're a merchant or any kind of business, you sell products or services, you can click on the Accept tab to be taught how to get set up to accept Bitcoin in your business really, really quickly. For security about how to protect your Bitcoins, so you have, you've invested in Bitcoin and you want to store it safely and securely offline so that no way it can be stolen or accidentally deleted or erased, you want to click on the security tab. To, for information about how to shop using Bitcoin, click the shop tab, donate, how to make donations and so on. Solutions, again, is how to get professional service in helping your business get set up to accept Bitcoin. Conference is about the upcoming Bitcoin conference and the More tab, which is all about community, meetups, forums, all sorts of discussions and mailing lists. So check that out on bitcoinme.com. So that's it for this quick tutorial. Be sure to watch the Bitcoin show on onlyonetv.com and I'll see you there.